So what is up you guys, in this video we are continuing the harness tuck on the 240SX behind me. Where we left off was that we just got the harness out of the car, it is right there. And it looks like a big mess, but I sort of cleaned it up a little bit, I'm trying to get it all situated and I'm going to show you guys what I did to it. Alright, so I explained it a little bit in the last video when I had it all stretched out, but this is basically the tip of the harness. And this goes underneath the steering column and all that stuff. Uh, I didn't really mess with any of this up here. Uh, this is all on that side. This is like right next to the fuse box on the driver's side. It's a giant white plug, if you guys remember in the last video. So, going further down the harness, this plugs into your brake master cylinder. And then this is obviously a ground right here. Uh, I kept that, it's pretty long extended. Um, I might actually just cut into it a little bit longer or a little bit more and see about just trying to get a little bit more length out of it but I feel like it's long enough because yeah I ran it at the event um, last week I threw the harness in it was all janky and stuff and it stretched over and got to the brake master cylinder pretty easily so yeah I'm, I don't think I have to like really tweak this any so further down this is one of my headlights this is the driver's side headlight and then driver's side fuse box. I didn't touch anything over here. And then I retaped all of this right here. And it's all nice and neat. Um, so this, put that down there. So this right here, these plugs, I wasn't using them at all. So I didn't really feel like chopping them off and just in case I do need them. So I just like taped them along with the actual harness itself. Um, this right here, this long ass plug, um, this is the other headlight, so I may need to extend this. I'm definitely going to have to extend this one right here. Um, just a little snip and then solder some wires. Extend it out. We have another set of plugs identical to the ones I sort of taped up with the uh, harness that I said I wasn't using. So I taped those up with the harness also. This is a ground. I'm not sure if I really need it, but fuck it. I mean, I just hook it up with all the other grounds and that should be Gucci. This right here, this clump of wires that you see, um, I'm pretty sure this is cruise control. And then these two were plugged under the dash on the passenger side. Um, but before pulling the harness, I had these already unplugged, so they weren't really doing much. So what I think I might do is, I was thinking about just like snipping it so I don't have like this big ball of like, wires, but I may end up taping these back up and just doing the same thing with these right here. So that, if I do need them, they're still part of the harness and I haven't tampered with anything, really. Then we get up here, we got some grounds. There's also a ground over there with the other fuse box. Um, pretty sure. Yeah, there is. And then, so we got these grounds, we'll hook these together and bolt them to some metal in the chassis or whatever. Uh, we got these plugs right here. These actually, I don't have to extend these because the plugs that they did plug into, I was able to actually work my way and get them into the chassis. But these are on the passenger side, so uh, the harness itself in the engine bay, like that goes to the engine, it actually stretched into the like cockpit of the car. So I'm able to plug these in without extending them. So those are good. Now we got this fuse box right here, or what's left of it. So it doesn't look like the regular fuse box. It's only half of it. All the relays are right here actually so we got that relay this one and then this is like my fuel pump um, I had it rigged up and it's just gonna stay like that I'm just gonna have these mounted somewhere in the car underneath the dash and then we have some cut wires down here and over here so there are four wires on the like in the engine bay that needed to be extended and these are them or not wires but four plugs um so let's see so we got this is a set of plug like this is one plug right here 
This is one plug right here. This white wire is its own separate plug. And then these two is its own separate plug. Um, and those are the four plugs that really need to be extended. Those are like the most important things that I'm really working on with this harness. And then, yeah. Um, so, my plan is when I get this into the car, is I want to have it tucked underneath the glove box basically. So that's the goal, is to cut out a section of the glove box. And it's probably not going to be used as a glove box anymore. It's just going to be like my fuse box, glove box area thing, or whatever you want to call it. And uh, so it'll just be a drop down area just for my fuse box so I can get to it. And that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably stuff most of this right behind the glove box itself uh, once I get it into the car. Um, these two red wires down here, they are just power. I don't really know what the fuck they go to, but they came from like my power distributor block, so I just extended them. Um, but they're not really fastened really well down here, so I'm gonna get the right length and then chop them down and then solder them to these wires right here and make it all nice and pretty. Um, and then of course this is the windshield wiper, the motor. So that is the whole harness and yeah, anything that I'm cutting that is like the most important stuff, which. Yeah, I guess right now I'm gonna get to actually like stuffing this into the car and getting it situated to where I think it, the dash would still fit over it and stuff like that. So that's the, the plan right now is just to get it into the car and then I'll start cutting and splicing and extending those uh, four plugs that are in the engine bay. All right, you guys, so this is what I got so far. As you see, I got a lot of the harness right here and it's all zip tied up. Um, it doesn't look like super fancy. I mean, it's not going to, it's just literally, I mean, if the car was designed this way, it'd probably be here already, but, and like, it looked fresh, but I mean, you gotta think this is like a lot of fucking harness and shit and it was out there on engine bay and we're just sort of like cramming it underneath the dash. So it's not gonna look pretty. Um, the only time it'll look pretty is when the dash is over it, covering it up, and you can't see it. So, what I've done is I zip tied it up, just sort of like coiled it like a snake, and then uh, my fuse boxes are down here. So these are those relays I pulled out of the uh, that one half of that the uh, what you call it the passenger side fuse box, and then this is both of the fuse boxes. So I've combined them together. So the fuse boxes are sort of like Lego pieces. So I'm gonna try and show you guys from the bottom view. But that's what it looks like. If you guys can see that. It's like just one whole brick. It's one whole piece. So that's going to be right there. And I got the glove box right here. Which I did this off camera. And it looks janky as fuck. I cut off and like sort of just sliced and used my snips or whatever. I want to clean this up and make it straight. Because I hate this shit. It looks really janky. But I'm just sort of doing it just to sort of test and see how it fit. But the glove box is going to fit right here, and it's going to fit the fuse box inside of it. And you had to cut this area right here, this whole square, if you guys can see that, so the glove box will fit. I had to cut that back piece off, just so that when it opens up it doesn't interfere with the actual fuse box itself. 
All right, so that's what I got going on right now inside of here. On the outside, remember those uh, those four plugs that were initially right here? Well, they're no longer here anymore. They're actually slid through the firewall. There's that hole right there. You guys can see it. It's like right below where my fuel pressure regulator and stuff is. Um, it was like a condenser, like if there's condensation or whatever, it sort of drains out right there. Grommet type thing right there. And uh, I sort of pulled that out. And the hole is just big enough to literally fit each like plug one by one through. So I just did that. I took each plug that I had and I just fit it through one by one until all of them were in there and I just pulled the wires through. So if you guys want to know exactly where that hole is, here's the engine in the car. You come straight down, it's right there. Right next to the clutch line basically. All right, and then we come up underneath the dash right here. And there are all the plugs right there. It's one, two, three. There's four. There's four of those plugs, and then there's these two plugs right here in my hand. Which these, um, I haven't really spoke about these too much. Those two plugs are actually a part of the actual main like engine harness. So this is the main engine harness. It comes through the firewall right here on the passenger side, but it splits off into like two pieces and it's just two plugs and i just like routed those through also so so it's a total of six plugs that i pulled through the firewall and now i just have to like literally just slightly extend those plugs just a little bit just to make them work and uh everything should it should like run after that um and then up here i can just the only thing i kept up here from the lower harness was so that's your starter cable and then your alternator like ground right here so that's the only thing i really kept up front and that's about it with the freaking the harness tuck once i extend those wires and get them plugged up then it's basically done so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna solder those up heat shrink them and then probably go tape everything up try and make it look as pretty as i possibly can um i suck at making electrical work look pretty so just bear with me you guys but yeah Alright guys, so that's one plug that's finished. As you can see, they're all soldered up. I have my heat shrink right here, which I guess I'll do that now and just heat shrink everything over the solder so that everything's all isolated or uh, like just covered up so that nothing's touching like electrical wise. So yeah, that's what it's gonna look like. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a professional solder or nothing like that, but I mean, shit. It turned out pretty good, so yeah. Alright guys, so I got these two done. So that's the final product of the wires and stuff, what they're gonna look like. Um, just soldered and heat shrink, and then I'll end up just taping it down as far as I can go, uh, separating them of course, but yeah. So that just sort of cleans it up. Um, and then now I just got to do that big white wire and then the other two like little wires for that other plug. Um, and then once you do that, then you just got the headlights to do. Alright you guys, so after soldering a lot and doing all that mess, I have finally finished uh, for the most part. So all I have to do is get this headlight right here done and uh, soldered and extended through the firewall and then this one right here. And basically I'm using that hole, that same hole that I ran those four wires through. Uh, and that's basically the only hole through the firewall I'm using to basically extend everything. And I'm really finding out that I didn't even have to extend, but uh, just this, this plug right here. Which is, uh, the wires are like a black and yellow and a white. Um, that's the only one I had to extend. Uh, I'm finding out that I didn't really need to extend any of the other ones. Like, these are, this is all four of the wires that I cut already whenever I had it on the outside. 
but yeah I'm just finding out that I only needed to really cut this one so um, all of these actually plug right down here plug right down here um, so that's the firewall right there that's the hole and those are the four plugs I really need and yeah I'm about to plug all these in and once I do that then it's literally just a matter of uh, I gotta get this ground situated and there's grounds over here that I gotta get situated um, but yeah it's just two major grounds and then there's like this one skinny one that I'm not sure if I really need this one right here I'm not sure if I really need this one but I mean I could start the car up and disconnect them and see if like my battery ends up dying or see if the car like reacts weird to it and uh, that can determine if I really need it if I'm going drifting and stuff um I'm not gonna have the, the dash in for the end of this video I'm gonna save that for another video because I want to do a dash repair so yeah but this should get the car running uh, I'm hoping to get it running by the end of this video for you guys just to sort of show you guys what all needs to be done and uh, yeah that should be the harness tuck and then the dash will go on over and I'll show you guys that progress in another video hey guys so I have everything basically handled outside the car um so that's my power distributor block okay so down here i just gotta sort of like bundle everything up right here all those wires and stuff i'm just gonna tape everything up and uh have it so it's like one cord that's going through the firewall um and then let's see uh i think that's mostly everything so i'm gonna try and give it a crank so the only thing that i know that i would be missing sort of is this ground right here you guys can see that um, I did one ground over here. I don't know if you guys can see, but I just sort of put it on this nut back here. Um, but that's a main ground, a fuse box ground. I put it right there. There was already grounds on that stud, so I just made it reach and it worked. So I'm about to send it right fast. I got my trusty old fire extinguisher right here, just in case anything bad goes wrong. But uh. I know the blower motor works, but here goes the first crank. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically it for the wire tuck or the uh, the harness tuck, fuse box tuck. Um, Next video is going to definitely be me probably touching up the dash or something like that and then getting the dash back into the car. So yeah, just stick around for that you guys. Um, but yeah, that's basically the harness tuck. It actually wasn't as bad as what I thought it would be. Um, it is time consuming just because like you want to make sure everything's placed right. You don't want to mess up anywhere and have some wires cut. Um, so yeah, I found out that I didn't really need to cut those four wires besides just the one and I still do need to do the headlights but I mean that's sort of self-explanatory just sort of cut and extend headlight wires and that's basically it so um but yeah harness tuck's basically done flip the camera around I don't got any more fender harness coming out nothing like that wrapping around my tube front nothing crazy so I'm happy with it uh, I just got to clean stuff up just wrapping everything with electrical tape whatnot and just uh putting some wire loom on it and stuff uh but yeah that's basically it so if you guys like this video and it helped then please do leave a like and subscribe maybe even share the video around if you know people that might need this in the future but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it and i guess i'll see you guys next time so later you guys